Good afternoon. For those who are new, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and today we will be studying SCP-4645. There isn't any objectionable material in this document, so let's dive in. Item Number SCP-4645 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-4645 is currently contained in an electromagnetically sealed observation room in Site-15. Every four days, a Mirin digital Nemo hazard is to be installed into SCP-4645. SCP-4645 must always be under watch by at least one researcher or guard from 7 a.m. until the SCP-4645-1 instance is generated, upon which it is to be recorded and sent immediately to the site director. If the site director deems the recorded threat to be of significant danger, it is to be sent to the O5 Council, which will vote on whether or not to meet its demand. Under no other circumstances are SCP-4645's demands to be met. Due to its targeted attacks on Foundation operations, SCP-4645 is designated and treated as a Gavora-class disruption. Footnote: Gavora-class disruption items endanger the inner structure of the Foundation and limits the ability of the Foundation to carry out its secondary objectives. Description: SCP-4645 is an Apple MacBook Air. Correction: Site 15 standard computer terminal with the exception of being able to run indefinitely without a consistent power supply or proper maintenance. As well as its primary anomalous abilities, SCP-4645 functions as a standard computer of its type, and has shown no signs of any anomalous origins or tampering. Every day between 7 a.m. and noon, SCP-4645 generates an instance of SCP-4645-1. SCP-4645-1 is a Pages correction, Foundation Text Editor document. SCP-4645-1 consists of two parts, the demand and the threat, and is formatted as follows. To the SCP Foundation, I am demanding that, insert demand here. If my demand is not met, then insert threat here. Good day. Due to the first-person phrasing of the SCP-4645-1 instance, as well as the reactions it has shown to some external stimuli, it is theorized that SCP-4645 is sentient, although there is no definitive proof that any form of sentience in regards to it exists. SCP-4645 has so far made no attempts at communication with personnel, nor has it shown any response to active attempts at communicating with it. SCP-4645's demands are usually actions that would be heavily detrimental to the Foundation, result in extreme loss of life, require inordinate amounts of expense or effort to complete, or cause a major change in the general world order. Examples have included executing members of the O5 Council, see image above, or other valuable Foundation personnel, the release of various SCP objects, placing the Foundation under the command of various groups or persons of interest, the overthrow of various world governments. Additionally, the demand consists of a deadline, always between 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. In contrast, all of SCP-4645's threats have been comically benign in comparison, and are never any more than minor annoyances. Examples of threats have included the closing of Site 15 salad bar for an entire day, see image above, all personnel stubbing their toe at least once throughout the day, extremely poor internet connection, various utilities failing. SCP-4645 is also capable of targeting individuals with threats. However, its influence has not been seen to extend beyond Site-15. Of note is that both threats and demands have been repeated in some cases, suggesting that there may be some methodology or goal to SCP-4645's actions. Whether this is the result of SCP-4645's possible sentience or the design of a third party is unknown. If SCP-4645's demands are not met by the established deadline, the text of the SCP-4645-1 instance changes to simply read, Time's up. At midnight, the SCP-4645-1 instance is deleted. The following day, a new SCP-4645-A event is initiated, wherein the threat given by SCP-4645 is always fulfilled either throughout or at some point during the day depending on the nature of the threat. No attempts at controlling or halting threats have succeeded, and the event cycle has been taking place for as long as the Foundation has been researching SCP-4645. Addendum 4645-1 Following an SCP-4645-A event that reset all Foundation terminals to factory settings, researcher Ferris Yeager entered SCP-4645's containment and proceeded to smash SCP-4645 with a sledgehammer. 
fucking stupid computer! Yelling obscenities and curses as he did so. Guards were able to quickly detain him, but not before he had damaged SCP-4645 to the point of irreparability. Following the incident, it was discovered that SCP-4645 was able to transplant itself into the nearest Foundation computer terminal at the time. The computer terminal retained the ability to run without a power supply, and was subsequently moved into SCP-4645's initial containment unit. Notably, aside from the changes in the anomalous properties and behavior, no physical changes were found in the affected computer terminal. For 34 days after the incident, SCP-4645 demanded various forms of punishment for researcher Jaeger, including his execution, several methods of torture, being contained with a variety of Keter-class anomalies, or imposing similar punishments on members of his family. Addendum 4645-2 As of June 18, 2018, the danger of SCP-4645's threats has increased slightly yet noticeably. Currently, this is regarded as a low-priority issue. Addendum 4645-3 On August 11, 2018, it was discovered that SCP-4645's range of effect had been growing at a rate of approximately one square meter per day. Additionally, its threat level had increased dramatically. Of note is that its demands have remained fairly consistent, in spite of its ever-growing threats. Addendum 4645-4 Beginning on September 4, 2018, SCP-4645 has begun to cause actively harmful SCP-4645-A events. Examples of new threats include Researcher Yvonne Ferris being hit by a car, breaking both of her legs and multiple ribs. Influenza outbreak within Site-15. Gas leak explosion, resulting in nine injuries. Two personnel ended up suffering permanent damage. Due to its ever-increasing threat level, SCP-4645 has been reclassified as Keter, and research is underway to determine a method to neutralize the object. Addendum 4645-5 Neutralization Attempts the following is a log of attempts to neutralize SCP-4645 or its effects. Neutralization Attempt 4645-1 Method Relocation of SCP-4645 to a remote destination. SCP-4645 was placed in a waterproof container to prevent it being damaged, and was lowered to the bottom of the ocean. SCP-4645 was left open with a camera facing the monitor to record its behavior. Result Failure SCP-4645-1 instance was generated, followed by the corresponding SCP-4645-A event. Notably, the SCP-4645-A event still took place in Site-15, suggesting that its effects are centered at Site-15 regardless of its own location. Neutralization Attempt 4645-2 Method Temporary Evacuation of Site-15 All anomalous objects were transported out of Site-15. Result Failure Subsequent SCP-4645-A events centered at Site-58, where the majority of Site-15 personnel were located. Neutralization Attempt 4645-3 Method Controlled Electromagnetic Pulse Isolated within SCP-4645's containment unit Result Failure SCP-4645 remained powered during and after the pulse. Neutralization Attempt 4645-4 Method Infection of SCP-4645 and its anomalous traits using SCP-560. Result: Failure. SCP-560 remained within its storage medium, and did not attempt to access SCP-4645. The reason for this is unknown. Addendum 4645-6 The following proposal was submitted to the Site Director on November 20, 2018, from Senior Researcher Andrea Mirren. With the continuously growing danger of SCP-4645, we have been slowly realizing that it could be impossible for SCP-4645 to be completely neutralized. At its current rate, SCP-4645 may be capable of causing a K-class scenario within the next year. Certainly, it has warranted our complete attention. What once was little more than a mild annoyance, and something that could easily go unobserved, to the point where it would hardly seem to exist, it is now demanded that we focus on it. Whether it wants us to keep observing it or if it has greater goals in mind remains unsolved. But regardless, we cannot afford to ignore it. Soon enough, it may be more threatening than we can handle. However, we may have had a breakthrough. Up until now, it's been assumed that SCP-4645 was capable of doing more powerful things because its power was somehow growing. But there may be another answer. 
One standing theory is that SCP-4645 is sentient, and that there is some kind of intelligence inside it, rather than a randomly generated sequence of threats and demands. It's entirely possible that the reason SCP-4645 has been increasing its threat level is that it's learning, that it's trying to know the exact limit at which we'll meet its demands. If it's learning like we believe, then destroying its memories could place it back where it began. Even though we can't delete its memories like with a conventional computer, its sapience may mean that it is susceptible to memetics. Our team is currently working to develop a digital Nemo hazard. Footnote, a form of cognitohazard that targets memories, example, Foundation Amnestics. One that would cause SCP-4645 to forget everything that it had learned. It would still have an effect, but it would be reduced to its former state of mild annoyance. As long as the Nemo hazard was frequently installed, SCP-4645 could never return to being a significant threat. The proposal was accepted, and on November 29th, 2018, the Mirin Digital Nemo hazard was developed and installed into SCP-4645. The subsequent SCP-4645 instance read as follows. To the SCP Foundation, I am demanding that Sites 1, 7, 17, and 19 be demolished with all of their residents and workers inside by 9.02 p.m. today. If my demand is not met, then the Minecraft accounts of everyone in Site 15 will be deleted. Good day. Special containment procedures were updated, and SCP-4645 reclassified as Euclid.